Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, we are going to do my test 6.3b number 2. So this is basically the drawing and uh, these are basically the rules that we have to follow. But then for this question, uh, the only formula that is available here is about the tangent. If this is a straight line, it's a tangent. Tangent means the straight line touch the curve at only one point. Okay, so we'll touch here. So the angle created on the left and the right side will be both 90 degree. So in order to answer the question, this question, other than the property of tangent, you have to know how to solve isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle. Let's say we have equilateral triangle. You have to know that all this angle will be 60 degree. Okay? So that is a fact that you have to know. Then if this is another triangle, but it's isosceles triangle, and let's say uh, you have angle here is 70 degree, and you want to know the value of A and B, so both A and B are equal, and uh, how to calculate A and B? So for example, A will be 180 minus 70, and divide by 2. Uh, okay, so it will be 55 degree. But there is none to apply here. Alright, so let's continue with question number 2. Um, Okay. It stated that this line is a tangent. Okay, I should have to label then P, this is Q, and this is R. Angle at Q is tangent. Uh, so, first, we want to find the value of X. What is the value of X? Uh, in order to find X, you just look at this is a, an equilateral triangle. So, the angle just like what I have shown you before, each of each one of them will be 60 degree. So X is this is an this is a straight line. Uh, okay, there's no label there. There's no label S for example. Okay, so oh this is S. Uh, maybe I can label K. So the angle, uh, this is center. So if this is 60 degree and this is a straight line. So x will be 180 minus 60. So x will be 120 degree. And how to find y? First, look at the property of tangent. The angle will be 90 degree if there is a line from the center of the circle. So here will be 90 degree. Okay, the whole thing here will be 90 degree and if we can find the angle here and the angle here then with 90 minus the angle here you can get the y right so first we know that the x will be 100 is 120 degree and solve this triangle okay before y we have this isosceles triangle involving x which is 120 so 180 minus 120 and then you divide by 2 so each one here will be 30 degree okay so the total total angle in a triangle is 180 so we have here is 30 degree and 30 degree and then the angle here is 90 so uh so and then this part, the small part here is 30 degree. So y is uh, 90 minus 30. So y will be 60 degrees. Okay. And then how to get z? Okay, so this is the triangle involving z. If we can find 1 and 2 here, then we can find z. So here will be 120 because this is a straight line and here will be 30 degree. Okay, do you understand why? 
because this is 90 degree again tangent if you have a draw uh, a straight line from center to q you will get 90 degree on the left side and the uh, and the right side okay so we have here 30 120 so z will be z is 180 minus 120 minus 30 so equals to 30 degree okay so even though it doesn't look like that because but that that one is uh, uh, because of the drawing okay so the drawing um, in the original textbook will be somewhat similar to my drawing that this part is longer than this part but then after we have calculated the angle here 30 and 30 so this line should be equal to this line but the drawing is the it's not the purpose of the drawing is not to give you clue on how to uh, to find the answer but then just to get some info all right okay bye